What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video will be the long overdue review for you guys on the Adidas Crazy Quick Padded Receiver Gloves. Okay, so as you guys know with all my gloves I cover protection, durability, grip, breathability, fit as well as the price and colors and my overall opinion on these gloves. Just to start off, I'm going to say that these are my friend Justin's gloves and he uh, lent them to me. We did a team order. I bought He bought these, I bought my Hyper Beast, and just start off the price, he got them for uh, $44.99 on East Bay. However, right now they are on sale for $34.99 on East Bay. So you might want to go pick those up. They're a really good deal. Okay, uh, of course, I'll just give you a quick tour to start. So as you can see, all on here is all perforated thin material. We have Adidas Crazy Quick. Here's the micro grip right here, which is really nice. And inside we have this kind of chain link kind of fade, which is really cool. And of course the big feature is this pull tab to pull them down. So to start off, we'll look at protection. So the only protection on these gloves is on your thumbs, index, and middle fingers. The rest is all perforated, very thin material, very light. Besides these little things which protect your knuckles a little bit that are sewn in, uh, there's not a crazy much protection on the rest of it. But on here, it's a very nice light but however, it's still really thick padding. You can see how much it really raises up. So we can get that light to catch it. And it's really cool how, because maybe the waves, it maybe helps absorb a uh, shock. I'm not quite sure though, but otherwise I really do like the padding on these gloves. And these are probably my second pick besides the Nike Hyper Beast for uh, my favorite lineman glove, as far as it goes with protection. So uh, because there is some protection, that's good, but however, it's not fully covered, I rated a seven out of 10 on protection. Next we have durability. So the only problem with durability on these gloves is of course the grip, the screen print on the inside, but you can obviously see it already starting to wear off. However, the rest of it is sewn in. There's nothing else screen printed, so it should last very well. And so because of that, I rated a eight out of 10 on durability. Next we have grip. So I'm not quite sure what the Adidas grip is called. I tried to find it on their website. I couldn't really find anything, but it's a pretty good grip. It's not crazy sticky. Uh, I kind I think I prefer more than a cutter's grip, but I also like it less than a Nike grip. So I'm not quite sure where I stand on it, on it at this point. All I know is it hurts just because when they do the screen print on it, it really makes it worse for me. I think I really don't like how it looks when it's kind of spotty on the fingers. So I decided to rate it a 8 out of 10, uh, the grip on these gloves. Next we have breathability. So... Other than this light padding, everywhere is perforated that you can see. We have mesh in here, all in here. This is the thickest perforations I've seen the, in diameter, of course. Like on these, we have some pretty thin ones, as you can see here. But just comparing the two different sizes of the holes really shows the difference uh, in breathability with the two different gloves. It also goes, wraps around. Instead of extending the grip, they decided to do more perforations. It goes everywhere. They also have mesh between the fingers, the same mesh that they have right here. So these are a super breathable glove, which I really like. And because of that, it was given in 10 out of 10 on breathability. Last, we have fit. So I'm not quite sure how I like to fit with these gloves. It feels good on the fingers. However, at the same time, it's just kind of this loose on the bottom here. It's super loose, which is why they have this pull tab, I guess. But I just don't like how it feels. I don't like how loose it is around my wrist. And I don't like uh, how it bunches. So even though these are true to size, they are large and they do fit well. There's just too much bunching in here. However, uh, I'm going to put in a little excerpt of my friend Justin, how he likes these gloves. And he said he really liked how it kind of bunches and helps absorbs the ball or something like that. Okay, and final thing is color. So uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the colors, the way they do their uh, secondary and uh, primary colors. I definitely like this way more than the Vaporjet 3.0 where it has the two middle. I've, I've never really liked how it just kind of separates the two fingers. I like how this looks a lot better. better. So, the, of course, they have the all-white. These are the all-white version that are a little dirty. We have the all-black, which I really like on these. And then we have, of course, the different color combos, such as white and red, white and blue, white and green, red, white and maroon, all those different ones. But uh, yeah, so next I'll just give that little excerpt on Justin and what he thinks. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Yep. I am, my name's Justin. I play linebacker, running back with Tony. Um, this is my opinion of the uh, Crazy Quicks. 
Great glove. Patty in the back is better than anything I've really worn. I wore super pads a little bit last year. I've been wearing the uh, cutters with the 360. Shock skin gamers. Shock skin gamers. And these have by far been the best protection. Great ball feel in them, no restriction. They are starting to break down. We just realized in the webbing on the side of the fingers, starting to come apart. But aside from that, I've had no issues. The grips held together really well, even through tackling, carrying the ball, being short yardage runner. Yeah, yeah there we go.